Welcome back to China Price Watch, where we're looking at the latest food scandal to pass through China, plasticizer chemicals in Baijiu. Following the exposure of one brand, the suspicion has now spread to a variety of Baijiu producers and put the industry on the defensive for violating health and safety regulations. The 21st Century Business Herald interviewed Wang Yansai, president of the China Alcoholic Drinks Association, who said that the problem stretched far beyond the Zhou Guizhou brand. The term for plasticizer, su hua ji, first entered the Chinese popular lexicon following a food safety scandal in Taiwan last year. Following that incident, the Alcoholic Drinks Association sent many Baijiu brands in for plasticizer tests. The detected levels range from 0.5 milligrams per kilogram to 2.32 milligrams per kilogram. That means the levels detected were between 1.7 and 8 times higher than permitted levels, with the average standing at double the legal limit. Wang said that last December, the trade association sent warnings to all Baijiu companies demanding they end the use of plasticizers in the production process. In April and July of this year, the China Alcoholic Drinks Association once again warned its members against use of plasticizers, particularly in Baijiu bottle caps. So far, the scandal has weighed heavily on the stock prices of Baijiu producers. Following the outbreak of the scandal, the targeted company simply suspended trading, and by the end of the day, Baijiu stocks dropped 5% across the board. That meant a 33 billion yuan or $5.29 billion loss of market capitalization for firms. Specifically, Guizhou Maotai, the country's most prestigious brand of Baijiu, lost $1.6 billion, with two other top competitors losing close to a billion dollars in valuations. These dramatic drops brought to an end what has been one of the all-time greatest rallies in Baijiu stocks. The Xinmin Evening News reports that since the beginning of this year, Baijiu stocks had gone up 102 percent, making them the 11th fastest growing industry for the year. In total, the year saw the top 13 Baijiu companies combine for almost 30 billion yuan or nearly $5 billion in profits through September. That's a 62 percent increase over last year and the industry's best performance to date. The timing was particularly bad for some of the top luxury brand Baijiu's. The Economic Information Daily reports that just 24 hours before the scandal erupted, three top producers had shelled out 1.7 billion RMB for advertising time on the country's most respected news programs. In the new post-scandal environment, these Baijiu brands may be forced to use that commercial time explaining away the use of plasticizers rather than promoting the brand. Netizens and commentators have expressed frustration, not just with Baijiu makers, but with the entire food inspection regime. Many have fit the latest scandal into a pattern that continues to crop up periodically. Long-standing problems are exposed by the media, the government pledges swift action, the current issue subsides, and customers wait anxiously for the next problem to surface. The question many are now asking is when will food safety issues be discovered in advance rather than after the damage is done? Dong Jin Shi, a food safety expert interviewed by the Economic Information Daily, pointed to producer mentalities and lax government demands in these scandals. Dong said that many food processors consider their recipes to be company secrets, and thus they never apply for public intellectual property protections or put their production processes on record with the government. With a relatively laissez-faire attitude coming from above, the proactive approach to food safety seems as far off now as when the last scandal erupted. Don't go away, because when we come back, we'll get Beijingers' take on plasticizers in their baijiu. Stay with us.